So this was a demonstration of uh, Fatboy Slim's Rockefeller Skank. There's a little trick in the middle of it where the uh, track slows down. Well, it sounds like it's slowing down, but the pitch stays the same. Uh, and I was talking to these guys about looking at the, the equipment that he used, uh, where we see a couple of samplers there and uh, the old Atari ST. So he wasn't using anything especially clever or sophisticated and this was a, probably programmed in 1997 or around that time uh, so looking at the equipment we tried to work out how exactly you did that trick and we came up with using the uh, S3000 Norman Cook actually used a uh, 11000 or something similar to that but we've used an S3000 uh, we've taken the sample this sample and it's just it's just loop round. We just set a loop point and put it in a program, which uh, does pretty much exactly the same. Uh, let's just edit that. Okay, so that's ready to go. Then we used a. Uh, this is obviously. MIDI, so we've gone from a computer MIDI into S3000 XL and then from the throughput to the input of the SE50 because this is MIDI as well, which gives us a bit of an advantage. So it's got a pitch shifter mode and what we've done with the pitch shifter is there is a parameter within it which allows us to set a MIDI uh, pitch change. Uh, the minimum pitch change it allows us to set to a positive value. So we've set this to pitch bend to minus 24 and we've set the SE50 to pitch bend down to plus 24. We've also taken off the direct feed uh, on there then when we play it through the computer we can instantly get the sort of flange effect that comes in halfway through that track. And that's kind of how it's done.